survive keeping those hands high. He's sacrificing the body by protecting the head every time he puts his hands up high. Tyson moves in and smacks it. That time was a short left hook to the head. Zalski took it well. His legs, though, are doing a Mr. Bojangles. He's in trouble against the ropes. And that's one place you don't want to be against the slugger, young Mike Tyson, who has 12 first-round knockouts to his credit. Today, he weighed in. At 220 and a half pounds, Zalski was 210. A swelling around the left eye of Steve Zalski, who is now taking the best Tyson has to offer. And you know that this guy is going to feel it after the fight. But unlike many of Tyson's opponents who come to grab and wrestle and just try to survive, Zalski is in there, as we say, like a man taking his lumps. And I do mean his lumps. He is getting red everywhere Tyson is hitting him. He's red on the left side from the body shots. He's red on the right side. His face is red. His left eye is swollen. Tyson standing directly in front of Zalski. There, bends down with a left hook to the body, right hand to the body. Zalski doing an admirable job throwing back. Catches Tyson with two right hands coming in and a left hook. A solid combination by Tyson, who really opens up with a solid combination of about six blows. Zalski rocked back on his heels, but still comes back. The crowd can do nothing but applaud this young man from Rockton, Massachusetts tonight because he has come to fight. The man some say may be one day put up there with the greats. Mike Tyson. There's about 30 seconds to go in the second round. The first round was all Tyson as he backed up Zowski, but Zowski hung in there just as you see him doing this round. The scoring here in New York done on a round system there's no standing eight count the three knockdown rule is in effect and there's no saving by the bell except in the last round and it looks like Zowski will get through another one and I think the crowd is applauding the courage of Steve Zowski as much as they're applauding the efforts of Mike Tyson and now the crowd roaring even more and it's not for Tyson it's not for Zowski it's a lovely Julian Red uh, Mike Tyson may have 18 knockouts but lovely Julie is a knockout herself When Mike Tyson burst onto the boxing scene, many believed that he would inevitably be the heavyweight champion of the world. Well, he got his shot in his 28th professional fight against the WBC champion Trevor Burbick on November 22, 1986 in Las Vegas. And here's Jim Gray now with a Sports Center flashback. His fight face intact, Mike Tyson was everything and more than he was billed. Trevor Burbick, the champion, had to know when he stepped into the ring that when he took off his belt, it wouldn't be back around his waist. In the first round, Tyson staggered Burbick twice, but the champion hung tough and tried to fight back. By the second round, Burbick was simply trying to hold on. He was knocked down early in the round, got up, then was floored by a vicious left hook to the temple. Burbick tried three times to get up, but referee Mills Lane stepped in and said that was enough. This is my best fight because at the moment my emotions were so intense. I was so intense and I, I was being professional, not saying I'm looking to hurt, but I, I was out for blood and I, and I, and I refused to be beat. I, this not, I, there's no way in the world I could be beat. I refused. There's no way. I think he possesses something that, that um, uh, people or viewers or the boxing game uh, hasn't seen in a long time. I mean, someone that possesses power like that. I think the only one that uh, possesses power, I mean, more, I mean, I mean, more power than Mike is George Foreman. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that was the only man that I, I mean, really admired and wished that I could possess his type of punching power. I mean, he could hit you with open, with an open glove and knock you out. And that's the kind of power I would love to possess. That fight is a bit down the road, probably the summer of 1987. So for now, Mike Tyson can sit back and enjoy and relish the accomplishment that he has become the youngest heavyweight champion of all time 
as at 20 years of age, he replaces Floyd Patterson, who did it at the age of 21. Jim Gray, ESPN, Las Vegas. By August of 1987, Tyson had unified the heavyweight title with wins over WBA champion Bone Crusher Smith and the IBF's Tony Tucker. But right now, it's back to Mike Tyson and Steve Zuski of March of 1986 on ESPN Classic. So after two rounds, Mike Tyson has taken them both against Steve Zalski, but you've got to really commend Zalski for the job he's put up tonight. He has taken a beating through two rounds against the slugger from Catskill, New York. Trained and honed by the late great Customato, now trained by Kevin Rooney. Tyson made his network debut in February on ABC. He took on rated contender Jesse Ferguson. Ferguson was more or less unwilling to fight that night and did a lot of clinching and holding. And finally, in the sixth round, the referee called him a TKO loser when he refused to break from a clinch for about the fifth or sixth time during the night. A packed crowd up at Rensselaer's Fieldhouse in Troy, New York, witnessed that fight. Zowski bounces a right hand off the head of Mike Tyson, who's not exactly thinking defense in there now. Some more awesome shots from Tyson. Tyson, one of the most magnificent infighters I've seen in years. Probably the best heavyweight on the inside was smoking Joe Frazier. Tyson may be every bit as good and possibly more so because his right hand, I believe, is better than Joe Frazier's. Frazier, Mike Tyson, a converted southpaw. But as I said earlier, unlike many converted southpaws, Jerry Cooney included, many of those converted southpaws do not have any power in the right hand. Tyson is not one of them. Tyson just committed to body work, really not looking for the head at all, looking to take this man out by chopping down the tree, working that refrigerator. Solid right hand to the body by Mike Tyson, who looks to be just getting some real heavy live sparring in there. Got Zowski in big trouble against the rope, but Tyson lays back, because Tyson is an outstanding finisher. I think he's just trying different things in there tonight. The one thing I don't like about that, if you're working on certain things, you're just getting head-butted or maybe taking a thumb in the eye, except not tonight, because the thumb is low. There's a solid right uppercut, and I don't know what's keeping Steve Zowski on his feet. He said he was most proud of the fact that he's never been off his feet before. And now he switches for a moment to the southpaw stance and tries to rock two right hooks off Tyson's head. And about three seconds to go. And there is a solid shot. But Stowski stayed up after that one. I don't know. Doesn't look like he'll beat the count. The count is eight, nine, ten, and this one's over. Arthur McKenney says he did not beat the count, and indeed he did not. A third round knockout, not TKO, but third round knockout for Mike Tyson, who ups his record to 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts, more than a sparring session tonight, but not much more. As Steve Zowski just tried, and Tyson knew it, respected him, and tried not to hurt him, and finally took him out of there. It was more of an accumulation of punches, but then that final blow put him down. He started to get to his feet at eight. And as he climbed to his feet, it was already the count of 10 from referee Arthur McKenney. And that gave Mike Tyson victory number 19. And managers Bill Caton and Jimmy Jacobs say they'll be fighting this young man once every other week for the next year, building his record to somewhere around 40 and 0. And then when he's 20 years old, send him up against one of the heavyweight champions looking to make Mike Tyson the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Floyd Patterson did it when he was 21 years old. And Caton and Jacobs feel Tyson can do it before that time. And indeed, the way he's been looking so far in his career, who's to say anybody can stop him? Mike Tyson was just seven months away from a title shot in March of 1986. He took on Steve Zuski here on ESPN Classic.